Hi there! Do you want to learn Power Automate and simplify your workflows? In this video, I will share one of the lessons from my Power Automate module on my Udemy course. If you want to access the course, check the pinned comment below or become a channel member to unlock all the lessons. Let's get started. Now that we are getting only the tasks that we want, let's convert that to an HTML table so we can send in the email. The next step that we are going to add is the select step. This is inside the data operation. We can just select, select. We are going to select from the value array that we have in the get items. Remember that the value is an array with all the rows. And here we can provide the map, where we can provide the title and the current value. So for example, I'm going to get the created by. And here in the value, let's select from the get items the created by display name. Now let's get the task date. And let's select the task date. Now the worked hours. And again, the worked hours. So here we have title and here we have the real value. And the last one, let's get the status because it could have been approved or not. So let's show the status. Since it's not showing here, let's click on see more. And here we have approval status value because it's a choice column. So we need to select the value. Oh, and of course the description, I didn't add the description. So let's add description. And here from the value, then description. I cannot drag and reposition things here, but I can switch to the text mode. And here we have the entire object. So if I want to bring the description to the top, I will just select the entire row and paste after task date, for example, and add a comma because there was no comma after the last one and remove this comma after the status. Now, if I click back here, it's in the order that I just configured in the text mode. This will return only this table. So one array with two items with only these columns. And now I can use it to convert to an HTML table. And we have a next step that's called convert to HTML. Again, it's inside the data operation, so it's created HTML table. And here we can provide what's the array that we are going to convert to the HTML table. So in this case, I'm going to select the output of the select, that's the previous step. And that's enough. This will create an output with an HTML table that they can send in the email. I could have added the value from the get items. And here I can change to, instead of automatically create the table from the existing columns, I could change to custom columns. And here I can provide in the same way that I did in the select. But I just chose to use the select because then we know how this operation works, but it's basically the same thing. So let's put automatic and then let's select the output from the select action. Now let's run and see what are the results of these two actions. So let's click on tests, manually, publish and tests, run flow, done. And now the flow has run. Just remember in the output of the get items, we had a big array with all the columns. Now in the output of the select, we just have an array with two objects with just the columns that we informed in the action. And in the create HTML table, we have the output that's an HTML table. So it formatted that input into an HTML table that we can now send in the email. Let's add this action to send to the email. And I'm just going to send to myself right now to see the results. Let's search by send email. I'm going to get the one from Outlook. Send email v2 to myself. Subject, today's tasks. And then in the body, let's get the output of the create HTML table. Let's see this result. So let's test. And now let me open my Outlook. Here I just received today the two emails from the tasks that I created, the flow that we created previously. And now this is the result of this flow. So here I have a table with my tasks. It doesn't look nice because we didn't add any styling yet. We can also add a CSS here to make it look better. And this is what we are going to do soon. Going back to my flow, 
we still have these things to do. Creating the CSS and loading the emails from the approvers calling the child flow. So let's just improve the CSS in the next lesson and then we are ready to call the child flow. See you in the next lesson. Do you want to watch the classes without any interruptions? By becoming a channel member or purchasing the course, you can watch ad-free and support the future of my content creation. Check out the link in the description and in the pinned comment to get started. See you in the next lesson.